Dr. Arnell Potts. He was an ophthalmologist who discovered and eliminated a major cause of blindness in premature infants. He passed away from heart disease on March 11. He was 89. In 1954, Potts received proved that uh, treating premature babies with pure oxygen could destroy their eyesight. At the time, this was the most common cause of blindness in premature infants. Although the new understanding came too late for thousands of people who were made blind by oxygen, including the same singer, Stevie Wonder, ARRL Connecticut Section Manager, Betsy Doan, K1EIC, and her twin sister, Barbara Lombardi, K1EIR, it undoubtedly saved many more from similar fate. Barb and I are thrilled to learn that the doctor who discovered the effect of too much oxygen at birth was a ham radio operator. We only wish we had met him or worked with him on the air. How exciting that would have been. Don't told the ARRL, Potts operated a ham radio station from his home on behalf of the Maryland Eye Bank. According to his nephew Sam, Potts erected an 80-foot tower at his home and became known to amateurs across the country for putting out the word on the airwaves whenever corneas were needed for transplant. Interesting ARRL continuing education course registration. Registration remains open through Sunday, April 25th, for these online course sessions, beginning on Friday, May 7th, 2010. Amateur Radio Emergency Communications Level 1, Antenna Modeling, Radio Frequency Interference, Antenna Design and Construction, Propagation, Analog Electronics, and Digital Electronics. To learn more about these, visit the CEP course listing page or contact Continuing Education Program Coordinator. One of the interesting areas of uh, ARRL happens to be uh, uh, some articles called surfing and uh, scam applications for everyone. And hot on the heels of smart applications for iPhones and iTouch iPods, for those of you that have got them or will be getting them or have them and uh, really like them, NASA released a new iPhone app called 3D Sun that delivers a live global view of the sun. Users can fly around the star, zoom in on active regions, and monitor solar activity. Pretty neat stuff. With 3D Sun, what you see are real-time images constructed from data beamed to Earth by the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, stereo as we all know it. A pair of spacecraft with a combined view of 87% of the solar surface. That's a bunch for the sun. According to Wired, 3D Sun will permit you to keep track of solar flares, sunspots, and coronal mass ejections, which seems like an excellent addition to every hand's toolbox. NASA support programmers develop 3D Sun, and you can download it for free from the Apple iTunes Store. And if you don't have an iPhone, they have other applications also. They recognize that the iPhone is not the only smartphone on planet Earth. And I certainly don't want to give you a non-iPhone smartphone users the short strip. So I'll point you to a website that lists a variety of free ham radio applications for smartphones that are not iPhones. That is the software.informer website. There you will have to separate the wheat from the shaft because there seems to be some non-ham apps mixed in with the ham apps, but you will definitely find some useful ham applications there, and they are free. By the way, thank you to David Kaplan, W-A-1-O-U-I, and Tala Winslow, KB7DNS, for the heads up about the 3D Sun. Until next time, keep on surfing. Excellent articles there. As we get into those type of applications, I've got uh, a couple more here, some more interesting ones that you might find uh, uh, that you favor. And uh, kind of interesting.
interesting that is uh, technology keeps expanding, the iPhones, the iPods, and those types of things, and uh, our digital technology. Gee, I wonder where most of uh, a lot of those things come from. A lot of them are generated by the hams to start with. Bob Murda, AK9RM, added another website for online monitoring arsenals. David Pascoe's KM3T Live ATC.net that streams live audio of air traffic control communications from across the country. Bob Murda said, I find monitoring air traffic control communications addictive. I carried my laptop around the house last weekend listening to the international flavor of Boston Center traffic via liveatc.net. By the way, Surf and Covered, another radio-related online live audio stream last week and the week before that. Several of the applications are out there. You just need to find them if you're interested in those type of things. And it's just another example of the way the world is uh, working with amateur radio getting some of those applications on some of the things that uh, we all really enjoy and uh, can use with some of the uh, different uh, phones and the iPods and the iTouches. I remember when the iPods came out, everybody said that they were for music, and they still are, but uh, they do so much more, and uh, now that they're wireless and they can pick up some of these applications, uh, especially for ham radio and, and uh, that portion of uh, the spectrum, it's, it's really great stuff. There's just uh, not an awful lot that... Uh, out there with some of these and, and let somebody develop them. And as we can all see, there's an awful lot of ham radio operators behind the development. Well, that's been a uh, weekly dose of the AWR information. At this time, do we have any additional check-ins? Please call WD0AOP with your call. Thank you for doing all the work you did, and uh, Catherine also. My gosh, what a, what a deal. 